are live. Hi. Attack of the Clones. We're, al- we're live and we're not excited <laughs> <laughs> about being here. Episode uh, two in the amazing Star Wars universe. Amazing. We're almost done. I'm so... We're I, not almost done. I'm talking about the prequels. We're on episode... Oh, yeah. I'm, okay. Guys... It's rough. It's rough. It's for rough me. out here. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking rough. I'm counting on Sam this whole Man oh man. Please. Please you excuse know, me if I'm absent. <laughs> Phantom Menace came out, right, guys? We we we, we shit on it, we right? Did that. Yeah. We're probably gonna spill ass on Attack of the Clones right I'm now. Sorry. I'm sorry. But let me just put a disclaimer out there. I still love the fucking movies, but they just are bad. Like you can't there's no <laughs> You can't disguise. You can't disguise it that it's that it's good. You can't. You can't defend it. Is what I should say. But also, I'm coming from seeing it as a child and being like, "Ooh, like this was actually like fun and (laughs) lightsabers." And now I'm rewatching them and I'm like, "Fuck! Thank God I wasn't this age when I first saw it." Yeah, it'd be kind of a disappointment. I would go so ham. Yeah, I think it's just more again. Let's just start it off. Dislike, yeah, go. dislike central. Here we go. There, is there a like? I got maybe some. Okay, all right, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Um, dislike central here. I I just don't know why there's so much politics in this. Like we got it in the first one. I know. We need it here and it's here again. And like we said in Phantom Menace episode, I just wish that this was number one. That this one... I said it first. Attack of the, yeah, you did. And, and I I'm thought about here. it. I thought about it and I watched the second one and I was like, Nicole's 100% right. If number two was one, maybe the stories aren't... Maybe they're not exactly the same, but yeah. Anakin is Anakin, like, of age now. Mm-hmm. He's old. Yes. Older. He's like probably fucking 18 i, I would think he's assume- supposed to be 19 yeah this. like yeah. what the fuck and um hello and padme's literally like 35 i would assume what no what how old is she i thought she was supposed to be like 25 okay i'll buy it <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> i'm in <laughs> but how old was annie in in one he was 10 or 9 and she was like 15 okay maybe so she was queen at 15 I'm helping you out, Star Wars. Okay. This is me helping you out. I'm not this too first. I'm not too nerdgasm on that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know the lore there. So I'm fuck pretty, it. Yeah, I think I would buy it. He's whatever. Not. It's still creepy. Yeah, hundred percent. But anyways, instead of introducing a new fucking actor for Anakin, uh, Hayden Christensen. Yeah, we could just had him in as one as eighteen year old and skip the annoying child bullshit. I'm oh sorry. I'm God. sorry. Sorry. The politics are I don't know what's worse. The politics or Anakin's lines that they gave him. Okay. Or, I'm glad do you, you think that. it's a lack of direction or do you think it's a lack of acting? Or no, writing I mean, in general. Hayden Christensen isn't the best actor in the world. He's, he's not, not awful. the best. He's not awful. He'd certainly made a name for himself. I think it's the scripts. I think it's writing and directing. Yeah, it's like, the right yeah. I'm pretty sure. Aiden Christensen had no direction yeah. on like how am I supposed to be and and George Lucas was just like you know you're just you're sad your mom's gonna die yeah, oh my god and that was that was so serious and they make it fucking cheap okay <sighs> I was gonna put, I was gonna put one of that part of that listen on here my likes, like though. look at it this way you're hating Christensen right this is one of your I this think is this is like his not probably his, debut, his biggest break. It's his biggest break. Like this, your anything fucking in Skywalker. anything in Sky and Star Wars is big break. He probably knows about he knows about Star Wars, so he's right. like, I got this role. Let me do my research. Like, let me do it. So maybe that's how he came across of like, fuck Obi Wan. This is his fault. Yeah. As a director, you need to see that and be like, no, 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 no. Darth Vader wouldn't do that. So that's not on well, him. But Darth Vader does despise Obi Wan. Okay, but. but that the childish? way, but no. the, yeah, but the way the lines are delivered exactly. are terrible. I see the direction that uh, Hayden Christensen wants to go exactly, but it needs to be psychopathic. Uh, I want to conquer the world. Mean, and he doesn't get there until the he, third one. Yeah, get and there it's literally just battle. yeah, it's literally just him as um, 
yeah the third one much better with yeah. his delivery but because he was used to it and i'm sure like they changed they tweaked it yeah. and they heard the criticism they had the time to adjust but um he needs to have he literally sounds like a whiny bitch in this movie yes it's, because it's annoying your it's actually, mom dies and we barely see obi-wan and anakin together in this one yeah, yeah they're split up your mom dies and movie. your immediate reaction is obi-wan's jealous of me yeah, like what? it comes out of nowhere, right? You're what? Like, I'm sorry. They're like trying to set it up, and you're like, exactly, fucking hell. But you don't like knowing the third one. You're like, all right, I'll take it. But you don't know that when you watch this for the first time. Yeah, you're like, why the fuck? Like, where did that come from? And Man, I, I'm just going super hard. On and if he's side. 18, it's just overall fundamentally broken. Like, if he's 18 and he's he's since Anakin, he's been with the Jedi for 10 years. We'll say eight years. Yeah. He's well, been 10. training under Obi-Wan. Yeah, 10, yeah, eight 10. years. And he's been training under Obi-Wan. He wouldn't be that way. Exactly. That erratic. He would be more like... Like, Darth Vader's pretty... Quote, I, I mean, like... Chill? You, you, yeah. <laughs> if you look that four through six, he's pretty, like collected collected laid yeah. back but if you piss him off yes. he's not gonna scream and yell he's just gonna, oh he screams and yell once but yeah. like he's just like i'm gonna just kill you yeah. like are you really threatening me right like he he has the power he knows right. he's powerful and i think that's where he would be he, like he wouldn't be this whiny kid like oh he's jealous of me yeah. I, i'm gonna be powerful more powerful than him like that d- d- obi-wan doesn't even in- in- make an inclination well, of that. O- yeah but also obi-wan doesn't encourage that type of behavior it's like you i think yeah in this one he's like you know calm like yeah calm your emotions anakin like, yeah check yourself and obi-wan's the most chill dude on the planet yeah, so i wanted more anakin and obi-wan together to see their dynamic mm-hmm. to see how this eventually turns bad mm-hmm. and we don't get that we're we see obi-wan like traversing through fucking boba fett's house right and this is why i'm gonna bring you back the clone wars <laughs> show is so <laughs> good right. because they're together literally all the time basically Ooh. obi-wan and anakin oh they're in the show yes dude and mace windu and everyone oops bro it's huge <laughs> no i'm sorry but they do have way stronger bond in this show and and when you go if you literally were watching uh, attack of the clones right mm-hmm. and then you go and watch all the clone wars the whole show okay and then you go watch three and you you literally take the clone wars stuff and you put it you're okay. like okay there's a there's an actual bond here oh. like you could you would know but like it's not portrayed in the movie which is sad so but that's and, what you and, need to do yeah as and obviously series. the show came out more after yes three they, know, they were like oh shit we so, gotta do something to fix this <laughs> so um yeah i i think this just needs to be one and i'm a genius what can i say you know it's i these movies are iconic for their bad dialogue and that's pretty funny to say yeah i know right but like it's the just like content. it's just like some movies like that are just iconic for being stupid and like the room yeah like, and why would you want this exactly to and yeah. it's so big and this movie is just like um, the prequels are just iconic for having just the worst dialogue ever probably some of the worst character development at least in one and two three it got there but shit's it was hitting the fan late. and people and the fans are willing to just give it up at that point because like okay like shit's hitting the fan it's yeah. very visually pleasing for the most part okay there's some of the cgi is, is so gonna... dated and that's another just like, oh again, god it's so bad the cg is just terrible especially Remember? when he's riding animals Did I s- <laughs> <What did laughs> that thing i sent you today of oh yeah of them video. fighting yep. and it's literally it's from three but yeah you could still apply it to this whole se- prequel sure. series they're literally the whole fight scene is they're standing on blue yes boxes with the green screen yep. behind them just like talking blue floor <laughs> yeah not even real lightsabers just sticks Although like that scene is great it's great yeah luckily but They're like luck- because of the actors like how hard would it be to act i know i couldn't do it especially okay. in that scenario we're talking about cgi the amount of times that <laughs> anakin hurt his nuts in this movie like he jumps on like when they're in the gladiator scene and he jumps onto the animal your fucking nuts would be gone nah. I'm, I'm not a dude i don't know how that feels force but nuts <laughs> nuts of steel <laughs> the force balls field. of steel, force field he around put, nuts. He put, so what he did okay i'm gonna tell you he put a force field around his balls okay and then when he landed he's fine okay cool that, that explains it then but Thank padme you. on the other hand she jumped on that bowl thing exactly 
but it doesn't hurt that as bad. That would still hurt. It would hurt. That's what, but Break I'm your saying. pelvis, dude. I know. <laughs> that shit, like, but they don't act it. That, that was bad CGI, but also, like, I do, think about it. I do like that Mace is in this a little bit more. Samuel L. Jackson's fucking funny, dude. With his funny, little dude. lightsaber, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you gotta get that purple in there. <laughs> this party's over. <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> iconic for lines, I dude. Know, it's dude, iconic for lines. It just has so many funny lines, dude. I mean, at least it gets something out of us. <laughs> um, I might sound stupid. Again, don't, I said Don't this. ask me who's Mace Windu. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said this in the first one. I'm not, like, huge into Star Wars. So I don't know. Um, I haven't rewatched the third one yet. Mm-hmm. Is, who's the robot guy? Darth the one with all the lightsabers and the arms and he's a robot. oh grievous grievous is he mm. in that, that one that he's in the third one so we d- i'm not thinking of a cartoon he's in that movie he's yeah yeah he's movie. in the third okay one. Yeah, yeah i just want to and again confirm. he's in the cartoon more but yeah okay i just want to confirm yeah because he was creepy he creeped me out as a kid but we're not there yet we'll we'll talk about that on the wait third is one. he in the cartoon because he dies but i'm just i could have sworn i saw him in the cartoon whatever okay. but yeah okay, uh he is one. in the third one okay um oh okay your main villain, like they introduced Django Fett here, who, I mean, plays a role in the story because he is the main clone for the clones. So like, does he know he's making the clone army? Yeah, he he's being paid by the Caminos, which is the. How do you know all of this, dude? I'm just a nerd on this? it, bro. This is crazy. It's to just me. like second knowledge to me. And it's like a language. Boba Fett is his son that he cloned, or is his, his it's biological son? It's a clone son? of him. It's a clone of him. But they didn't, like, accelerate his, like, growth and stuff. Because he was special? Because Django wanted a son. Kind of, like, weird. Okay. <laughs> See, I mean, like, I mean, one of what? my one of my dislikes is in the original trilogy is that Boba Fett is wasted. Yeah. They just, they just fucking kill him. Well, they waste... I also don't know if George Lucas even knew what these characters were going to be, obviously. Okay, but they... That's a theme in all the pre... Like, yeah, the but it's also a part of cult uh fil- like films is these nobody character that were meant to be nobody characters the fans love them yes. like boba fett was probably never slated to be anyone cool he looks fucking badass yeah and people are like that dude is sick why did he just die he doesn't say an, a he line he's right? like one line yeah, probably he does the whole have one movie line. so jango fett they introduce him get said chopped off but that's that's my thing about this movie is that like it's just fan bait it's like they knew i'm sorry like it they is, knew dude. oh like where's boba fett like let's play to that and then it's like okay well i don't see his cool suit i see the beginning of who boba fett is and why but like why does that matter he gets wasted in the yeah the originals yeah like i don't want to see him as a kid lose his dad like fuck that yeah focus more on anakin and obi-wan and we knew nothing about boba so we don't i don't care where he came from right i would have i would have liked he's a clone his cameo should have just been like hey this is my son boba yeah but i didn't need the whole scene with him like crying over his like we know he's gonna turn into a bad guy his dad's a bad guy and and he we know he's a bad guy in the future like and he dies anyways in the there's no payoff anyways so it's like whatever that's an that's kind of nitpicky but like it is it's it's focused and there's a whole corner of the movie where like obi-wan goes to kamino and he freaking finds out about the clone army and i i honestly the jedi are like the dumbest people in the world like they it's like they're supposed to have this other they literally don't know anything they're like the whole this whole movie they're bitching and complaining that they have no visibility in the force (laughs) right and it's like what and then you're just gonna accept this army i get that like your hands are tied and you have no way of defeating the droid army but like no smart wisdom like people would just accept the use of a clone army this episode is just you giving me the history of star wars yeah i can't do it i want kylo ren he's almost here man he's not (laughs) i want a couple more to go (laughs) I, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> I should have said that. You're getting that. good. Dude. I'm getting good. I'm practicing, guys. Good. I'm practicing for the Force Awakens. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did it sound good in the mic? It was good. <laughs> I'm pretty good at Kylo, but I'm holding back. No, you. You. I'm gonna like, bring Sidious out for next oh episode. I'm for gonna three. laugh. Don't do it. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> three, he has iconic. I was going to say it. Iconic okay. lines. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, that's Guys, that shows how bad I think these movies are, is that I'm excited <laughs> for Sam's impersonation of the movie and not the movie itself. Dude. Although, no, the third one I do. I want to. Cult know. classics, yeah. man. The third one, literally, if you watch any of these, watch the third one. Okay. Let's just keep going, though. Okay. <laughs> On this S spelling yes, yes. spree. That's all these. This you know, is, yeah. so again, uh, if we just erase one from our memories and we put this in the number one, if they Padme and Anakin storyline would have way more time to develop. Exactly. Like, he's literally whining and bitching about how he's going to be the most powerful Jedi. Sounds like he's going to want to take over the universe, kill yeah. people. And she just has sex with him, marries yeah. him. Literally goes, I'm, dude, her lines when. In the Gladiator, right? Natalie Portman is a beautiful, wonderful actress. And yes. this is, it's like, she's it's such she wasted was the one, her potential. Her and Ewan, Ewan McGregor yeah. were the two that, like, it's tried the hardest. Such wasted potential. Exactly. Like, I'm glad Liam got out. Liam Neeson got out <laughs> when he did. literally like he bowed out. <laughs> but, like, yeah, they, she shows, so Padme shows fear to Anakin of, like, I can't like I don't want to do this to your Jedi training. I can't do it, and she's also like a s- scared of like him. But then just immediately, oh, I love you. The line when they're about to go out in the, yes. the gladiator thing. Yep. God, it hurts my fucking soul. What is dude. it like when she's I'm like? I'm so madly in love with you. And then they <laughs> and then they kiss. I thought it was like it like I, oh no, I'm not afraid of death. <laughs> Right? I'm not afraid I think of death. So. I don't fucking because know. Because I love you. It's yeah. so corny, though. <laughs> it's bad. So I watched the Cinema Sins on this just okay. to re to re up my hilarious because he's just hilarious. He that is channel's hilarious. great. Yeah, but it's shout out that part. That part. What does he do? I have. He's like actually. George Lucas thinks people talk like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gives it a sin. Does, doesn't he do like, that with the sand too, though? Yeah. <laughs> of like, yeah, people hate sand. We get it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> why is that line sand, there, but... dude? But then that's yeah. why these movies are popular. It's by stupid I... shit. I know. Why is it good? Why are we doing these? <laughs> <laughs> we're we doing gotta. it for the crawlers, man. For the for the lead up to and the movie. And we're just praying that, that JJ can save the series. It's con or oh, not confirmed. Sorry, it's rumored that Hayden's in it, dude. He's seen <sighs> Force Ghost. Do you think it would be a Force Ghost though, or like maybe he'll he'll try his hand again at Anakin of like I I didn't do it right last time. Like let me, let me like a flashback or like mm. he meets Luke. I think he's going to talk to Kylo, dude. <sighs> Grandson. Dude. Grandpa. Why would you talk why would you talk to Kylo not in your Vader uniform though? Why would you talk to him as Hayden? Because he'd be like this is who I really am. I'm not that helmet that you talk to at night. He's that ball sack that with veins on it that Luke unveils. <laughs> <laughs> no, because have you seen the remastered old movies? Yes. They add Hayden Christensen to Force Ghosts. I know, with the Force Ghosts. It's so and, stupid. But for me, I kind of buy that. Because listen, when Hayden Christensen Anakin goes bad, right? He turns to Vader. Yeah. He's and that younger self, right? In yeah. That age. And then he get he grow he lives his life as Vader, and then he turns quote unquote good and yeah. kills Sidious. While we're spoiling all those <laughs> movies, I mean, what the? It's been yeah, 50 you years, guys people. have seen. <laughs> <laughs> get with he it. He kills Sidious, and I would assume if you died in your older body, but you were bad that whole time, and then you like came to the Force, that you would be in your Force ghost as like a younger self. Okay. Does that well, even make sense? It makes sense, but what you're saying. With these movies, what these movies are, these prequels that we're doing, shows us Anakin has been bad all along. He's confused. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm out. (laughs) No! He's clearly confused. He doesn't know. Know what? What he... (laughs) He was... He just knows he wants them cheeks, but he wants to be a Jedi. That's all he knows. You, You somehow managed to sneak cheeks into this episode i've been waiting for the cheek how about how about happen and it, this is it how about the the padme dress when they're on naboo oh my god her costumes are amazing they're, her she has great costumes Beautiful. but her wedding remember dress? the one that they had sex in i don't 
I'm well, sorry. they don't show sex, but like, I know the night they did. Well, it's, is it like her sex? push-up bra? <laughs> like, like she's suffocating. Okay, dude. I gotta watch. The it end, probably it looks like the most uncomfortable stuff ever to wear. The bras are uncomfortable, my man. No, this this dress <laughs> was like. Okay, I gotta watch it again. Yeah, I I'll send all you a pic. But I mean, like her hair. I'll send you a pic. He has it locked and loaded, guys. <laughs> her hair is awesome, but like oh, I love it. I don't know. I would. You would just assume that Anakin's confused. That's all I know. Okay, I'll I'll let that. Slide. He has to commit to this religion that he's been in for ten years. He's been learning for ten years <sighs> under one of the greatest. The Jedi problem masters. is, is that it is what the Jedi Order is. What it is. That's the whole problem. The whole system is flawed, right? It's right, like right. the American education system. It's just flawed <laughs> from the the top down, yeah. and the Jedi are flawed in their beliefs. And that and that's why I give credit to the new shit where it's they're going away from that. I hope they don't Take bring it. Force, I hope yeah. they don't bring it back because she has the book. She's like, oh, I'm gonna start the, the Jedi books. again and be like, we're just gonna be in the same place again. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But whatever. Fuck it. I like <laughs> I like Mace Windu. This party's over. Yep. I like and Padme's costume. They do give us the nerdgasm multiple Jedi scene and all of them die. Literally everyone dies. That was like the whole Jedi force right yep. there. But that that was just which, a cop out of like how the Jedi die. Which also surprises me that that's all they have. Yeah. Like you show me this temple with all these like young yep. like where the fuck are they going? They just dying? Ooh, I can't wait for the third one when when Anakin kills all the Jedi. Yeah. Oh, that's why the younglings are dead. Anakin <laughs> killed them all. Anakin killed all of them. <laughs> Whoops. Um, man, do you have any likes? Uh, Padme's out. I like Dooku. Like, I don't. I like because he was uh, a Jedi. And but they don't go into like why he and turns. exactly. But like that's more lore and um, right. You know what's really surprising is that Anakin is quote unquote this chosen one but Dooku is supposedly a, ch- a churned Jedi and he Anakin is most likely showing signs of doing the same thing that Dooku did and yeah. no one is like this is why they're flawed like right. they literally were not like oh maybe he's not the <laughs> like, like oh yeah we've seen this before like this dude crazy yeah and like there's probably more turned Jedis and I know for a fact there are in history so I just it just seems like kind of weird I, I just wish it was written differently because yeah. George Lucas has the opportunity to do this, and you have and to he's know. He's the fucking creator of and it. And he has to know that, like, okay, there are probably churned Jedi in this world. Like, no one's perfect. Yeah. And that's what he's getting at in the story. Like, Anakin's not perfect. Like, right. there's no prophecy. Like, there would be no perfect person to save everyone. But to bring another franchise into it, the with way great he's churning is cheap. Yeah. The way he's churning is cheap. Like, it should have been, like, all this stuff amounted like he was pretty good as a jedi he was a young kid he was cocky whatever that's yeah. fucking fine han solo is cocky like well fucking yeah luke was weird but as jedi <laughs> we didn't catch it in time to like yeah train and, that. and then but it also would have counted if he was a little bit older and they took him in oh right like, like you, yeah if like he was that it, yeah like like when you adopt a 16 year old yeah holy shit like you gotta Kylo. deal with yeah yeah I'm ready for you, Kylo. You got to deal with all that. Yeah. But he was, I mean, he has to deal with his mom. Okay. I know it's your mom. I know it's your mom, but like there's, there's that, but all the, the real only thing he has to deal with is his mom. And then that too, he is, I think flooded with this idea that he is the, the prophecy. But they really don't touch on that either. (sighs) Like even in the first one, I don't think we talked about that a lot, but like, they say a few times, oh, he may be, like, uh, Qui-Gon says he may be the chosen one. I have a feeling he's the chosen one. Mm. Why do you feel that? What made you think that he's a pod racer? I had to kill him. <laughs> yeah, Liam was like, I don't fucking know. Like, maybe he's the chosen one. But, like. It's just so many. Pl- so, why did that idea get implanted into yeah. his head? If you guys listen to our Quiet Place episode, I talked about plot holes and how a lot of the ideas weren't really supported in that movie. Yeah. 
or that people's ideas of plot holes aren't really plot holes. Well, these movies have so many plot holes. Like, you introduce Force Ghost. Why isn't Qui-Gon a Force Ghost? Why isn't he talking to Yoda saying, yo, 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 this guy's fucking crazy. Shit, yeah. Like, if they're this ultimate power, they would have more ability to do this stuff. You know, And you're telling me that the Lord Sidious, Chancellor Palpatine, Mm -hmm. you don't sense that shit? Is so powerful. Yeah. Listen, guys, listen. He's so <laughs> powerful that the Jedi have no ability to see with the Force, right? Even when they are sitting in the same room exactly. as him, you're telling me you would not feel that presence. You but walk Yoda's in. supposed to be the most powerful Jedi, exactly. And he doesn't sense that. So my again, I'm but he senses Anakin very... suffering from oh yeah, there's universes away. There. I always pain like... <laughs> suffer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See? Your surprise ones are good. Dude, it came out. That's a good one. <laughs> I always kind of... I grew up as like an X-Men kid, okay? Oh, so God. I, <laughs> I was the I X-Men girl. X-Men, Hugh Jackman all the way. I kind of confused um, fandoms of... I... Why doesn't... Why don't the Jedi like... Do like Professor X and like see what's going on? Like, well, why te- can't they... Technically, they could. Like, that's what... Yoda is proving in those scenes with Mace where he's... Then what the fuck? He's literally f- can sense Anakin's exactly. suffering from millions of light years away. Exactly. But they, they're they saying, oh, we the Force is blocked. We have no ability to use the Force. Nice. Nice one. I'm like... That's called script right there. Yeah. I'm like, what? How is he sensing that then? Nope. And that's what his little yoga room or little, little yoga. room... I don't know. <laughs> Meditation room. Meditation room yes, with yeah. the lights. Yeah. They no, go in that room a lot. They go in that room a lot in three. And he can talk about, I miss my mother. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Let's talk about the mom scene. I actually like that scene. I, I give it a like. I well, like I seeing Anakin turn it, dark. But, but also. It was way intense for the tone of the movie. Yeah, but also like it needs again what i was saying his churn needs to be more high stakes but also a build-up so like this yeah. was the catalyst right yeah and then the next one maybe he thinks obi-wan is trying to get padme yeah. maybe like he's trying i think maybe that might that could have been no it's not inclined i don't think i thought in the third one he's like, oh that, 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 that's right? so random yeah, though right yeah here we go <laughs> i told you it's fucking stupid you will not take her from me right it's that's what he that says he thinks that I don't together. know. I think he's just implying. I. It sounds like he's like, you're not going to take her from me, like, relationally. Okay. But I think it's more of, like, you won't persuade her to, to leave me yes, right. to, like, take. take. But, again, so, like, a build up. His mom dies. Yeah. Okay, we get totally get it. We get you, Anakin. That's, that's rough. And then, or, like, he, you know, Padme and him fight. Or, like, he's like, she's scared of me. Like, Mm. what am i doing wrong that she's scared of and like that choice or like what it's a build-up yeah. that's what it needs to be yeah remember <laughs> just, <laughs> just i just like, think of a line in yeah. three i remember in three when he goes to anakin's house well fucking obi-wan's at fault for this too man he knew he knew the whole time that there was a relationship Why did he know? oh he yeah. just knew he i mean and even in two he inclined he he knows, Anakin's yeah. fucking rock hard in the freaking room. Calm yourself, Anakin. Yeah. He said that. Don't let your uh, don't you let say. your feelings get in the way. Yeah. You can't. These are codes that the Jedi cannot act on. Like he's literally implying, you can't go fuck the exactly. bitch. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> and so he knew this whole time. Yes. So that's fucked, dude. And th- again, Why is that fucked? you you can't you gotta again, cock block a, him. <laughs> like you're again, I'm your it's master, a, and I'm it's like, a, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, not right. It's all. another reason why the Jedi are bad. I think Obi Wan is just so, um, with the prophecy, he's so he's like, oh, I can't let anyone know because like, what if he is really the chosen one and I stopped it from happening, kind of thing. There's this whole theory out there, guys. Oh. It's literally like this guy wrote like a 20-page theory about how the Jedi are actually evil. And, oh, I've and heard of this. I 100% support it. Like it, all the signs make sense too. And even with the little nods in the movies and then they go further in like books and stuff, like it makes 100% sense. They're like controlling. They're like in the government. They so they have this like way... Subconsciously evil. Like they don't mean to be evil. They're not. They're yeah, like, they're but they're like 
making people think certain ways yeah. and preventing people from doing things and okay well like, we need more of that <laughs> yeah i would love to see that maybe but, this rise of skywalker is what's gonna do it <sighs> but remember when in three when he goes to anakin's house i don't and padme's you. what i don't remember so i'm gonna wait for oh, you to tell padme's me. pregnant and he's trying to find out if anakin's the one that killed the younglings or where anakin is Oh no! He already looked at the Jedi Temple. He he saw it with Yoda that Anakin killed the young ones. Yes. And then he goes to Padme's house, and she's pregnant, and oh, he's what like, he "He's the he's the father or something." It's so corny because <laughs> he hundred percent knows, and she he just starts already. crying, and he goes, "I'm so terribly sorry." That's what he says, and he walks away. I love Ewan though, dude. No, I Ewan's I, put his heart out I there. I know. I just remember the line of, uh, "She died from a broken heart." <laughs> Why are we the robot? Okay. The, the robot's gonna deliver that line. <laughs> Fucking hell! Okay. Out of everybody, get me out of here. Get uh, me out of here. I like Anakin's tr- a little bit of churn when he kills the Tusken Raiders. Mm-hmm. I don't even care about Tusken Raiders, so kill all of them. So even the babies they're evil like they're raiders yeah they're like they're pirates basically. Well, they killed his fucking mom. Shit. Yeah, and that's sad. Yeah. I like Shmi, but um. Her, mo- her name is name. weird. I know. I hate that name. Um, <laughs> Shmi. <laughs> <laughs> I like the... Um, I just like action in this movie. I mean... I like the gladiator scene. Yeah. With just the three fun. of them, though. It's Not fun, like yeah. when all the Jedi come. She seems to be on top of things. Yes. Yeah, that was great. Dialogue, man. That's yeah. a quirky line. I'll, exactly. I'll buy of it. Like, oh, like little cheeky. Like, oh, yep, she's there. <laughs> but also, I liked her outfit was... Um, Reminded she's got Leia. outfits bro I know, but that was yeah like it was Leia's Leia inspired like, okay it's light a white pantsuit mm-hmm. um man i like i like when um jango drops those like bomb things on obi oh yeah, yeah. Those, that was, those are like, cool visuals the scenes. end of that world mm-hmm. line was good. but again the politics are annoying literally why would padme appoint jar jar binks to represent <laughs> I forgot about that. To represent her, and again, this is this is. A, <laughs> there's so many meme theories that Jar Jar is an yeah, evil Sith. Sith Lord. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why would why would Padme appoint Jar Jar Binks oh. to be her voice while she's gone? I can't even speak. And then Jar Jar appoints fucking supreme power to the Chancellor. I mean, it's cool and all that, like. This plan worked, yeah. but this plan is very in depth. And, I know. And I guess I'm gonna I'll I'll buy it that Palpatine is that powerful because of all the bullshit that the Jedi are saying with yeah. like but like it's not believable. None of this is. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> but the politics are just so so annoying, guys. That's I, it. I, That's I, what I killed just, the movies. I just wanna skip all of that and just watch the fighting and watch the struggle the not the whiny part but like when yeah. he's growing up and like but three i want to see the training i think I he tried to like shy away from that because he did that in the original yeah like, oh, i don't want to like but repeat that this but would be new like exactly. this is this is a uh, jedi temple you're yeah. with you're like in the army almost like you're sleeping in a barrack right, with like right. the other younglings and growing up like that's all like stuff that people i think expected when they said oh we're gonna go to the like the the beginning I, the good times yeah. for the jedi yeah that were where they prospered but uh yeah not really <laughs> <laughs> all right do we do a shot we love do we love a, do we love anything do we love anything anymore they kind of hint i do they, they do a little bit of world building here they they show the death star that they're building or their plans fuck i don't remember yeah that it's I'm hinted sorry. at i mean it's a little nod so there's like little hints and nug- in the, all these prequels and we're probably not touching on a lot of them and you guys probably think like we just hate i told you i love the movies but um there are Besides there the- are yeah. little nuggets of greatness in these movies yes. it's just they're overall just terribly flawed like there's so I many i think we touched on it though of like and i just hate the transitions bro yeah oh i know the it's literally yeah. final cut pro i could yep do i know <laughs> literally exactly. there's one that does the yeah. time but thing. it's like the space opera that's what he was trying I know, to do like, i know but some of the in three work. they're really bad okay because it's I can't legitimately wait. everyone and now that i said it if you guys go watch three you're gonna hate it because 
No, you know what? I I'm just <laughs> I notice all those and I'm like oh. I don't like the um the visions of like her giving like his dreams. He's in the, no. I just remember no. no and she's like please and like in the dream it's like a little television screen. I'm not about it. We we just should do episode three right here. <laughs> we just need to talk about it. The visuals are so weird. So bad. Um can't wait to get to that. The like, romance is fight. just so lackluster. It's well, not built it's up. It's supposed to be meaningful. I mean, come but it's not, on. Like, Even Han and Leia was built up yeah. and paid off at the end. Exactly. The like end, that, end. Yeah, and it was like that was real. It would, took movies to happen. No, this one, it's like why, I don't get why they like each other. It's like a weird. Crap. Even if they threw it in three, if they waited and they threw it in three yeah. and they got married in three, like an hour in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in three, she's fucking pregnant. Well, because they fell in love in this one. Oh my god. Anyways. Gladiator scene is my shot. <laughs> no, no, pr- no particular part of it, just the whole thing. Well, no, like the lead up of it's that wide shot, I think, and you just see all three of them chain to the pole. Yeah, it, I like it's a fun scene. Like, yeah. You're like I okay. I do. I say that because I I vividly remember seeing this in theaters as a kid with mm-hmm. my dad, my family, and I remember this scene being mm-hmm. like, oh shit, like. This is cool. Like, yeah, and shit's going flip. down. Yeah, and they each, each, all three of them have a different way of getting out of it. And all three of them have different animals, which yeah. is cool. And the animals, that um, CGI was fine. They were actually pretty good. The, the cat thing is a little bad. Yeah. I think they spent more time on the other two. But the mantis was, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, but. I yep. think that was more, I think they might have used practical for some of the arms. So I think that's why we bought it a little bit more. Okay. Well, I vividly remember it. So kudos to you for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, again, like if they were in that situation, you had force powers, I would just pick that thing up and throw it. Exactly. Obi, Obi-Wan like, like does pick up a spark stick, I think. Yeah. And then he throws it with his, like, I exactly. would be like manipulating exactly. the thing with the force. Like, but doesn't, doesn't somebody say in some part of this series, not oh this one, but God. the Star Wars as a whole, like you don't use the force like that. Like you can't just like, like if I had the force, I can't just pick up the bowl and like fling it at you. I don't know. Anakin does it with fucking grapefruit when, right. he, when he's trying to get cheeks. Get dude. me out of this. <laughs> Uh, the shot I love is um, the actual Clone War battle oh. when they when they take down the giant Senate uh, the Federation ship and it's all smoke. You like those ships though? No, it blows up and it, it's all yeah. smoke. And then yeah. they're fighting this huge scale battle that we've yeah. never seen before. Right? That's so epic. The clones are fucking epic, and I fucking hate that the clones. Every single one in the single move in this movie oh, was shit. CGI. No. There was not one practical fucking armor fucking set mad. made. How did I they know. not make that? Stormtroopers can be so cool. They could have just called the Facebook group 501st Legion. This is 2001, bro. It was still a thing then. They they call this Facebook group. There's over a million members of people that have actual clone armor yeah. that wear it to Comic Cons and stuff. They could have showed up for free. They would have been in the movie. That's true. <laughs> for fucking free. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. But instead, they're all CGI. They still look cool because they're just like cool looking. Yeah, like the yeah. design is really cool. Not but really. I like the smoke that it, it like blots out the sun. And they're like the lasers and stuff. It's a cool scene. I think it's cool. Focus your fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do impressions. I can only I do. Dude, Yoda's one. hard, dude. People I know, that can and you're do, doing it really People well. that can do Yoda solid are, are gods. I, I'm not anywhere near to, like, real Yoda. <laughs> Guys, I shut my notes. Put the, <laughs> put the ship down, <laughs> Anakin. <laughs> Don't let your personal no, feelings get in Yeah, anywhere. once we get to the third one, my Obi-Wan, I think, will be. Dude, good. that's in this one. When Padme falls out, that's corny, too. Yeah. When she falls out of the ship. Yeah. You no, my brother. you put the ship down. <laughs> the, the pilot's like, yeah. <laughs> literally, like, oh, uh, what do I do? <laughs> I've got two Jedi's telling yeah. me it's different orders. Fuck, one's powerful and one can choke me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, shots. Shots. Okay. It's I'm I'm sending it again. It's a little bit better than the first one. Yes. I'm going three. 
three? Yeah. Well, I gave, we gave the last one four. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving this three. Okay, I'm giving this one 3.5 because I have a fond memory of that gladiator scene and because of the meme content. 3.5. <laughs> so I'm giving Also, it, did you no. see, um, what's his name? Who's his uncle? Or oh, his cousin? Uh, Sam Worthington. S- no. Yeah. It's not Sam Worthington. Yes, it is. It's not. It's guaranteed. I'm it's betting you Joel, right now. Joel Edgerton. Yeah. Who the fuck is Sam Worthington? He's not in this movie. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking? Oh, he's yeah, a Terminator. Sam Worthington's he Terminator. Looks like Bill. No, he doesn't. Same way that you think Patrick Wilson <laughs> looks like Chris Pratt. Fucking no, yeah, please. Does Patrick Wilson look like Chris Pratt? Yes. Sam is, thinks that they're um, related. After we're done here, no. I'm putting it up on the Instagram. Nope. As a vote. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. We'll do it. The crawlers will come to me. <laughs> In All right, guys. Of need. That's it for Star Wars Episode Two: um, Attack of the Clones. And next week will be I can't wait. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Yes, I am the Senate. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I remember you doing that. Oh my god. Um, we appreciate you guys. I hope you're enjoying the Star Wars episodes. I know we're not. It's not on format or anything. We, yeah, we're all over the place. Everyone's seen these probably so many times. If you haven't, you really need to watch them. Um, Just like, or jump in with us. Like, let us know what you like about it. Or yeah, like, what you really loved or remember about it. I mean, yeah. they're terrible movies. What's your the, favorite meme? Send us memes, guys. We would pre- love it. The prequels are terrible movies, but they still sit in our, on my heart at least yeah. as like cult classic, iconic fuck corny ass lines that are just hilarious <laughs> and um you know they are what they are and they came out and we We're gotta here. live with it <laughs> it's giving us content so to that we thank you um again we'll see you guys next week We're almost and there. make sure to get on social media and follow us at the film crawl please thank you guys so much bye-bye bye